timing. And that is a beautiful stroke to bring up his first boundary. Well, pulls it away this time. Is it all the way? Yes, it is. This one, lovely timing. Through the covers. Vittori won't get it. Well, it's also first ball to a new batsman. You've got a brand new ball in your hand. And Sachin Tendulkar is on strike. He gets a free hit. So he can get, get off the mark however he likes here if he wants to, whatever he wants to do. I was in this role in place when I was playing. <laughs> I remember one attacking shot for the day. Brilliant rule for a batsman. So Sa Sachin Tendulkar with a free hit. He to change the field. The short mid wicket in and a short catching. Fine leg. Goes through mid wicket. It's a quick outfield. It might not go all the way. Jacob Oram's after it. And they'll pick up a comfortable two. Tendoka gets off the mark. Might not go all the way, but it was uh, nearly went the whole way. It wasn't timed at all well from Tendoka. Uh, tried to shovel it away over mid on to the longest boundary on this ground. And uh, even then, it teased Oram the whole way. Cross seamer. Didn't quite get it full enough, but it was. Uh, it was full enough that Tendulka wasn't able to get the middle of the bat on it. Well, this outfield is 10 mil only. So 10 millimetres of grass. It's lightning quick. It really is. It looks beautiful out there today. Another no ball. Kyle Mill struggling. Another free hit. Now, these are cheap runs and runs that... New Zealand and Kyle Mills can ill afford to give away. And again, that's a long way over. And the way things have been happening for the New Zealand opening bowlers, they need a good start. They're desperate for a good start, and this just does not help. The other thing it does is the first over lasts forever. Yeah, we talk about... Uh, Kyle Mills being a confidence bowler and he's just lacking a little bit of confidence after coming back from his injury so they can't change the field this time because Sachin Tendaka is still on strike if the batsmen had changed ends the field could be changed but it must remain the same so another free hit for Tendaka where does Mills bowl it? tries to get it full and Dogger goes square, and that is lightning quick. Four runs. That is lightning quick. It's also brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from the little master. He tried to hit a ball that wasn't full enough. Well, that's another no ball, a free hit ball, so real trouble here for Mills. Then he, then he sees that one is fuller, and he goes offside. Very good, straight away. A bit more pace, too for Kyle Mills. It's wide and that is put away. Just lovely timing from Tendulka. Boy, he fair smashed this one. Variable bounce or not. This was a cracking stroke. It would have sat up, but it asked to be hit. And it certainly got hit. Oh, yeah. That's where you want to hit them. Looking for swing, none there, four. Well, they say half volley on leg stump. Any batsman that's level will put it away, and they should, but some just put it away a little bit better than others. And that was uh, a lovely stroke. And Tendulka flicked away with genuine power. T9 for one. Six. First one of the day, is it? No, might have just landed inside. Only about a foot inside to Tendulka. Maybe he read that one. Maybe he read Kyle Mills's line of thinking because he picked the link perfectly. He did pick it earlier. It's a slog sweep shot, so he must have seen it. He, the greatest batsman for picking balls up late he's picked it up early and he's just gone with whatever spin or bounce there is and with a clean swing of the bat 
Rice straight out of the middle. Ah, oh, spanking stroke for four. Now that's glorious. Yes, it was over pitch, but have a look at the footwork here. His eyes really lit up. Big stride forward. And just leaning into the shot. Tendulkar on 48. That may be his 50. Let's wait for the call. It is four runs. So Tendulkar moves to 52 and he is looking ominous. Yes. Uh, two half centuries back to back and uh, I think this is the better one. Positive from the outset. Uh, he looks solid. Shot selection has been good. And easy pickings here. This was drifting on the leg stump. All he needed was to get some bat on it. Not a good half century. Velocity, you'd say, 134 for two. It's hitting your mark, but that's beautiful batting. That is a superb shot off a pretty good ball. Oh, there is nothing wrong with this delivery at all. Jesse Ryder can do no more, really. He's found the block hole. It's a roundabout off stump. Look at that is just incredible. Really is. Oh, that is just such sublime timing. Haven't got anyone to blast. Oh, hello. That's six. That is oh. just magnificent batting. That's a sweep off the front foot off Tim Southey, and that can't do anyone's confidence too good. If you're a bowler, in fact, probably if you're a bowler playing first-class cricket, you're not going to answer your phone in the next week or two. That is just superb. Artistry. Bad ball, coughs the treatment, and gets away with just four. Waist high, full toss. Yeah, he's knocked the bales off here, Jesse Ryder. He's got him too close. And he's hit his hand on the stumps. He should have held on to it, should have tried to hold on to it. Easy thing to say, I know. And you're trying to bowl the ball, but he knocked the bales off on his way through. And it just would have unsettled the ball. You have a look here. He knocks him off. But he did it with his hip. No, I'm pretty sure. That it, took, it sounded like the top of the ball or his hand okay. hit the bales. Another four of this, gee whiz, this is carnage. Jesse Ryder's two power playovers go for 30. It's 176 for two. Well, if you there, it's just not quite happening. Oh. Catch! Straight up, this is very, very high. But the man's up at mid-off, and it's long as well. Oh, that is special. That is an unbelievable shot. I had the feeling Tendolka was just winding his way to ODI 100 number 43, and then he just pops one straight over long off for six. Why not? Good gamesmanship from Brendan McCullum, bringing the field in, taking his time, trying to create a mistake. Just make it a little bit tougher for Tendolka to push and run. 4200s. Maybe you take the area over it. There it is. It's One Day International 43 for Sachin Indolka. It's One Day International number one in New Zealand. Congratulations to Sachin Indolka. It's been an exhibition of batsmanship. Fantastic performance. I think all cricket lovers in New Zealand were hoping for Tendulkar to perform on this tour. So far, he's been nothing short of spectacular. Strike rate close to 100. He played the supporting act to Yuvraj Singh. I think that will change as well. Fantastic style, class. What more you can say? It's been settled around the world and we've just been lucky enough, I guess to see it here today. That's big. How about the 
timing. Is it good enough? You bet it is. That's over the top of the side screen for six more. Tendulkar is into the act. Look out. Well, he certainly is. Now that he's got his 100, he's going to go for everything now, using his feet. And even though he didn't time it, still got the distance. Well, India will be eyeing a score in excess of 370 here. They have a good run. Even 400 is achievable. It was the outside half of the bat that, but it was just the momentum and the confidence to carry on through with the shot. He was never to the pitch of the ball. The stat from Francis Payne, Tendulkar now Ravi has scored 91 centuries for India in all matches. 91 centuries. Just a little shimmy outside leg stump. It was just enough to throw Patel off and Tendulkar just caresses it behind point. No protection and another 50 partnership. Well, he's got the license now to really break free because Tony is in control at the other end, still batting to come. And India sends an opportunity here to close this one-day series against uh, New Zealand. Oh, it's gone. It's too clever. Way too clever from Tendulkar, just a boundary, and I say just a boundary, it wasn't far away from six. Yes, this is not the first time he's uh, played the shot in the innings, but again, I would say poor delivery at this stage. It's middle and leg, it's a low full toss, your fine legs up in the circle. If you're looking to bowl full, the target should be more off stump. So that was a catching option to get rid of uh, the great Tendulkar, Elliot, the culprit. Well, he was looking to clear third man. Just using the pace of the bowler. You can see deliberately opening the face of the, the blade. The angle of the bat was such as well. Difficult catch. Oh, magnificent. Just poetry. Never left the top of the carpet. Well, you've seen some shots today that have got the stamp of brutal force in them. But this is class. This is picking a spot. Lovely timing. Just easing it through the offside and into the gap as well. He's now on 137. The previous highest score by an Indian player in New Zealand was uh, a bloke who's playing not too far from here in Rahul Dravid, just up the road in Rangiora. He scored 123 at Talfo back in uh, 1999 at Owen Delaney Park. Tendulkar, 137. And you can add uh, another one to that, 138. Think about uh, 300 up for India. 300 magnificent runs. 300 uh, magnificent runs and 400 looks good. Is this out? No, it's not. He's got enough of it. He has got enough of it over a whitish long off and another six. 150 up for Sachin Tendulkar. What an innings. Placement along the ground. It's been fantastic. In the air, even better. An extra cover this time, that's four. No chance, no chance for the fieldsman. He just goes 6-4 after a good start from Elliott with two singles off the first two deliveries. 12 from four now. It's tough to get any words in with the amount of balls that are going to the boundary or over the boundary, but these two shots... I think he's picking his areas. The first shot was the shape he kept. To ease it over the boundary. That one took a little bit more work, more work with the wrists, more work with the feet. But when exactly you get the feeling exactly where he wanted it. Oh. A little bit of luck this time. And who could deny him that? I think he's pulled a muscle swing in the back. 
stomach muscle or something. He really does look to be struggling there. And he's called for the trainer. Yeah, certainly looks like he's done something. Swung so hard. You can see him there. Got to finish it off. Oh, that's a no ball. It slipped out. It was a slower delivery. And Tendok is really hurt here. He's really, really struggling. He tried to pull that away. It was very slow, only 97k, so it was like a Vittori arm ball. Just really slipped out, and Tendok went to pull it away. And he's just, he's really hurting. Oh, that's out over extra cover. What a lovely cricket shot. All in the timing again, six more. It's not comfortable though. I guess that's starting what could become a concern for India. The skipper's at the other end. He'll be enjoying it, but I think he'll be looking at the rest of the series, especially with the way he's reeled back there after hitting that ball. Easily over cover for six. So the Indian team physio. Out with Sachin Tendulkar. He's going to go. He's going to leave the field. Dhoni has just signaled to the dressing room that Rainer will be the new man to come in. But we'll just let this crowd stand and applaud. Uh, truly amazing innings from Sachin Tendulkar as he walks off AMI Stadium. Thank <laughs> you.